This is how we fixed AI character inconsistency with one simple trick. This is a three-step workflow that will allow you to get character consistency shot by shot in a fully cohesive story scene by scene. The tools I will use for this are Nano Banana Pro and Google VEO 3.1. The three steps are create a character design that is front, side, and rear view of your character. And then step two, generate a still image of the scene that you want to animate. And then step three, turn that image into a video. Let's get started, this is gonna be fun. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Galaxy AI because I pay for only one membership and I get all the AI tools available. This is all the image generators on the internet inside here and all the video generators. I'm providing an affiliate link below this video to start using Galaxy for free and test it if it works for you. And every single dollar I get from that, I will donate to this foundation that I'm part of. Look at this, our partners to the animation. Yep, my earnings I delivered to this first because they are my friends. And second, because these guys are super cool and super transparent. So back to the tutorial. Step one is creating the character. In here, I'm gonna scroll down, then go to image generator. And I'm going to use Nano Banana Pro. And I'm not going to use any images. I didn't do any research. So so I'm just gonna see what this comes up with. Here I'm going to fast forward while I write the prompt. Once I have the full prompt, I am now going to create this in portrait and the, out for the output format, I'm going to use JPEG. I can select the number of images on this one. So I'm gonna select two to get two different ones and then generate. We will just let this generate for a little bit. And now we have these two versions. This is version one, I like it. And then this is version two. I like this one. This is the one that I'm gonna use. And I like that it has these details like the shoes, etc. I think this is really cool. I'm gonna choose that one. I click on it and then download. I'm gonna call it JWO front. And now I'm gonna take all of this prompt, remove it and just type a short prompt. Create the side view of this character, comma, white background. And look at this. I can just click and drag this as a reference. I click done and then cl click on generate. For this one, I now want to only create one. I click generate, let it do its magic. Look at that. Now we have the side view. I'm gonna click download and call it side. And then I'm going to add both images. Right now I have the frontal view right there. I add the side view also done and now I have these two right now I'm just going to instead of side is rear view of this character white background that's it I click generate with one drawing only and there we go now we have the three angles and that is step one the character design let's go to step two to create a frame of the shot for this I'm going to copy and paste a prompt that I did with chat GPT but this one I'm going to do this, like create a 2D scene featuring Yawo. But for this, for the character, I want to include the three images. Right now it's the front view, side view. Now I click and drag the rear view. And that way, whenever I create any scene, it should have the consistency that I need. If you want to read the exact prompt I use, click the link below this video and I will give you a link to a Google Docs where I have that exact prompt. And now I click generate and let's see what we get. But for this, I'm going to use two and I'm going to change from this to widescreen because I want it horizontal. Let's generate it and let it work its magic and we will see after it's created. Boom, look at that. Ooh, I really like how this is looking. Looking, this looks really nice for an animation. That's one version. And this is another version. I think both work really well, but I like this one because we are a little bit closer and I like this light. So I'm going to download this. And instead of images, this, this would be instead character design. I'm going to add one that says scenes. And with this, I'm going to create the scene in here. Scene of playing the violin. Now I need to use that image with a prompt to create the animation. And with that, we have step two. 
the frame. Now let's go to step three, animating it. For that, we're gonna use, uh, this is the AI image generator. I need to scroll down, go to video generator, and I'm going to use v, the Google Video. If you want to test different ones, you can click there and then select another engine. I'm gonna leave that one selected. And then I'm going to use image to video. And then in there, I just go to my scenes, click and drag this one, and then just animate this. The prompt will be very simple. I just paste the prompt here, Korean boy, blah, blah, blah. Now, optionally, you can have a starting frame and an ending frame. You can click here and activate it. I'm gonna leave it disabled and just click generate video. We leave this for about one or two minutes and then, and now it's done. Let's play it. This added a little bit of audio. We don't need the audio, but for now, let me show it to you with the audio and then you can decide if you like it. Let's play it. I like it, it's pretty cool. So now we have an animated scene. The challenge is, can we keep creating more scenes like this? The answer is yes. But to keep that consistency, I need to keep dropping every other frame, like uh, all the frames, they need to have the same consistent style and the character sheet, I have to drop it every time I create a new frame, right? The past scenes that I like will be used as references. In Nano Banana, you can add to up to 10 references. So just keep in mind, three of them have to be for your character. And then the other ones can be just for maintaining the style throughout the complete scene. So with that, you can create an animation. I'm looking forward to you creating this. And as I said in the last video, I'm going to produce a full trailer, which by the way, I was reading some of the comments and someone said like, hey, you can create trailers, but not a consistent story. I was like, challenge accepted. And I picked from these stories. These are all the stories that I got, the, both from YouTube, from an email reply, and from the school community. And from all of these, I checked all your ideas, just to let you know, I have your names in here. Some of them I recognize, like the legendary Kipli Wentz. And the one that I liked personally is this one. I find it insanely interesting. And not only that, like one thing that I like from you, Princess Nguyen Wigwe, is the like animated organs explain health in a fun, memorable way, right? Let me do this quickly, quick format. This one, and I just find it fascinating, like a fun way to understand what happens inside our body. And I was like, yes. And she already has a script for this. She provided it. I'm excited and we started working on it. And my challenge is in two days, create this full animated story, not trailer, story with consistent scene by scene progress. Okay, so we're gonna check it out. And if you want to access a ton of animation courses, you can join our school community, the link is below. And this is a very active community where students are posting their progress and posting some techniques and some things that are, they are discovering. See you in the next video and stay tuned for this animation.